My name is Olivia Alger, and I will be reading from my short story for what it's worth. Your mom here? Washington set the box on the counter and pulls a jackknife from his pocket, splitting the packaging tape. The kid nods. You need her? Nah, it's good. Washington opens the cardboard flaps, and I move silently from my position near the door. He reaches his hand in, and I'm hanging on to every moment. He pulls out a box of matches and hands it to the kid. God, he says, setting it down on the table. Thanks, man. I edge forward as Washington hands things from the box to the boy who slips them all away. I step a little closer. Washington unloads a glossy bottle of shampoo, three paperbacks, a black backpack, and the boy puts them all away. I watch them go back and forth in the dim lighting of the place. It smells like water pipes and rust, and I don't realize I'm still taking steps towards them until I bump into the table. Here, Washington says, and he thrusts a box of Band-Aids at me. Drawer next to the sink, the boy nods to me, and I nod back. I take the box over and open the drawer, which is filled with syringes. I guess I've read about things like this, about people who live like this, about addiction and disease, and all the things I've read and seen behind, from, from behind our apartment window, but I've never touched it. And I stand there for a minute, looking down. The syringes are plastic with crooked needles, and the box of band-aids rests in my hand as I stare, because some are encrusted with dark brown blood. The kid breaks my glassy focus by coming up behind me and closing the drawer. The other one, he says, and so quietly it's barely audible, he adds, that's my mom's secret drawer. And the damp air swallows us whole in silence. <laughs>